Okay, so continuing with the forestry, um, deforestation. Deforestation is cutting of trees, either selective or clear cutting. There are basically two types of deforestations that should come across. Number one, selective cutting. Selective cutting is when certain types of trees are cut for different purposes, maybe extraction of wood, for industrial processes or anything. And um, clearing of land is when the entire forest is cleared for maybe urban activities, construction of uh, buildings, expansion of cities, roads, and um, everything. All right. So causes of deforestation, urbanization, timber for industry, again, yeah, you need wood for different industries, clearing of land for farming, for fuel, for building of roads, overgrazing of land. Overgrazing is basically when uh, the animals, they uh, eat the grass and they graze the land. Overgrazing is basically when all the land is cleared uh, because of these uh, grazing activities, excessive grazing activities, animals. Um, okay, methods to overcome the problem of deforestation, creating awareness, number one, supplying ir ir irrigation facilities, two, basically planned irrigation forests. Irrigation forests are all those that, uh, all those forests that are basically man-made. Um, uh, I mean, they're, they're planted on purpose. Improving the techniques of raising nurseries, planting trees along the roads and open spaces, provision of gas to northern areas, by selective cutting method. Okay, if you'll focus on this point number five, so provision of gas in, uh, to northern areas. This is very important because um, once you provide gas northern, because most of the areas of northern Pakistan, they rely on uh, natural sources to produce fire, to produce heat for domestic cooking and everything. And, and obviously the domestic heat is as well. So if let's say uh, gas is provided to national, uh, northern areas, they won't have to rely on these natural um, uh, uh, procedures to produce gas and these natural heaters for domestic cooking. Um, all right, uh, selective cutting, restrict, restricting the use of bulldozers during selective cutting method. All right. Um, now we have a few questions. Let's move on. Selective cutting. Selective cutting, we already know when you cut certain groups of trees, advantages reduce overcrowding, save valuable species. Disadvantages, it's expensive to just figure out the number of trees that are required to be cut and then take all of those materials to, to, to the land and then uh, um, basically execute this cutting technique. Effects, uh, soil erosion, similar to the effects of deforestation, uh, increase in surface runoff floods, loss of crops and properties, silt in reservoir disturb of uh, the, the disturb the water supply less shield loss of habit loss of habitat basically and pollution these are all the effects of deforestation pretty straightforward pretty easy and you must have studied these effects and causes before as well all right this is a picture this is basically uh, if you look at this point here area x this is how an area has been cleared of uh, out of the entire uh, forest area. And this is again a picture of deforested land, selective cutting or uh, clearing of clearance. Um, soil erosion. Soil erosion is basically the surface runoff of soil because of natural agents such as wind, water, rain, glacier. Um, cause of erosion, strong natural agents. Areas that experience strong winds due to monsoon, maybe due to western depressions, rainfalls, glaciers, uh, excessive surface runoff is common. Deforestation by humans, overgrazing by livestock during mining. Yeah, because for mining activities, because it's important to, I mean, for mining, it's important to clear the land first and then dig the land to extract valuable minerals. So this is why. Um, I mean, soil erosion is caused as in, it's, I mean, soil erosion is an effect of mining as well. Effects of soil erosion, loss of fertile soil and nutrients, output reduced, income of the farmer reduced, output in terms of the agricultural outputs, the uh, plants that you can obtain, the vegetations as, as, uh, as the agricultural products. Types, sheet surface erosion, rill erosion, wind erosion, and gully. you can ignore these types. They're not important to, in, uh, for, for your example, any of you. Methods to overcome soil erosion, planting of trees, terracing, laid the layer of stone, 
contour farming, strip farming, cover uh, uh, cropping. Contour farming is when trees are planted in layers and uh, strip farming is also uh, layering of trees. Uh, just a second, I think there will be some picture, no? Okay, you can definitely Google pictures regarding these contour plowing, terrace farming. Terrace farming is mostly practiced in northern areas because northern areas, um, uh, because of the uh, lesser availability of land to maximize the use of limited land available, uh, people practice uh, terrace farming over there. All right, sustainability is very important. Sustainability is, the word sustainability means that you, how you use the present resources uh, in such a way that you don't compromise in the needs of the future generations. Uh, usage of resources by fulfilling the demands of current generations without making a compromise on the demands of the future generations. This is what sustainability is. So sustainable forestry is that you use these forests in such a way that, you're, that you meet the current demands without making a compromise on the demands of the future generations. That let's say if the trees are being cut down for uh, economical activities, I mean, twice the number of those trees cut must be planted, replanted to actually to, to cover up the loss as well. Looking after the forests, action against illegal logging, selective cutting, use of alternative fuel, national gas instead of burning wood. Burning wood must be outdated. It shouldn't be a practice. It shouldn't be a common practice in the northern Pakistan these days. There should be a proper supply of natural gas, proper infrastructure development, government protection of forest areas, national parks and reserves, planting species that do not need irrigation, cutting off mature trees, right? So these are all the ways to ensure sustainable forestry. And similarly, okay, let's just keep it till here. I would now want you to attempt a few questions because this is very important. Uh, uh, the sustainable forestry is one of the most important topics of this uh, chapter. This question number two, what are the advantages and disadvantages of developing a forest area for tourism? This is a level marking question, three points for advantages and three points for disadvantages, along with the examples and justifications. All right. Can you attempt this question uh, with proper elaborations? These are just the points here for your help, but you need to use these points to develop proper paragraphs. And so this one, question two. Yeah, question two. And I think you should do this question okay. one as well. Why is afforestation called a long-term investment? Yeah, why is afforestation a long-term investment? Because it takes years. I mean, trees take years to grow. So once you're investing in, let's say, afforestation, planting the trees, you'll have to wait for years until the trees grow fully. A financial return is pretty less, and it starts after quite a few years. High cost of planting, maintenance cost is high, and obviously cost for growth is also high. Irrigated plantations need a proper maintenance for that. You'd have to ensure a constant irrigation supply for the trees to grow fully. This is why afforestation is a long-term investment. So question one and question two right now, uh, you have 20 minutes to attempt these questions. Wait, how many marks is question one? Question one is four marks, question two is six marks. Okay. Uh, don't forget to write examples. Uh, could I do on Word or do I have to write it down and then send a picture? That's completely up to you. Okay. 